Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today, and today we're going to be swapping out the transmission actuators for this Ford Focus 2015. So what we're going to be doing is the first actuator, or actuator B, is right in here, which, there it is. You can see it has a B on it and scribbled out A. So we're going to be replacing that one. And then the easy one that we're going to be replacing, because you might as well do both, is just underneath here, and actuator A, just underneath the vehicle, which is right there. So why don't we start with this one and then we'll do the second one, which is a little bit more troublesome. So I'll get this socket size and we'll go from there. Take a flat blade and just slide it in here. All you have to do is separate this like that. Just move it out like that. Next, take this guy, stick it in there. See how it kind of flips forward. Next thing, just keep wiggling. As you keep wiggling this back and forth, Start sliding back, keep wiggling, and this will slide down like that, perfect. After this slides all the way down, take the clip off. So yeah, as you can see, pop down, flex a little bit, this slips out, wiggle this down. As we put it in, which I'll show you later, we won't go into that. Next, grab a six mil, if you have 12 point, 6 mil 12 point will work on these. Make sure you feel how loose these are. That way you know how much pressure to put on them. There isn't lots of pressure on these. And the last thing you want to do is go and over torque them when you're putting this back on. Now that I've got these loose, I'm going to switch this to a handled screwdriver and just pop out all these bolts. After you do that, just grab it and wiggle and there she is. One thing I would suggest doing is just taking your finger with a glove on, dipping it and just adding some marine grease to the inside right here. Just, it's gonna help for cooling, it's gonna help for a lot of things, help for wear and tear, put it that way. So if you want, buy some of that, throw that on the gears, and then we'll slip this new one in, in the same orientation, and just get those bolts slightly tight in. Another thing you can do if you're worried about those bolts backing off, go ahead and add a tiny bit of blue Loctite. Just wanna show you this so that way you know when you're tightening these, literally one hand do not be going to and don't be grabbing at the bottom of the ratchet you'll snap these screws in a heartbeat like i said if you're worried about them backing out go ahead tiny dab of blue loctite then when you bring this back in as you sink it start squishing and you'll see it starts to sink in make sure she locks back in and lock that on Ta-da, first one's done. Let's go up top. Right here is the first clip. See how it's over here? Move it up, wiggle. Put this up and over here. Next one, blue button. Press it in, squish. And there might be one on the other side. There is. So make sure you squish both blue buttons and it will move. Go ahead and take this bolt out. Because what we're gonna do is quickly remove the air box. Again, if you really wanted to fight with it, you could try to get your hand down there and not do this. I highly suggest you just do this. Seems like an annoyance now, but I'm telling you, after you do it and you have a little bit more room, just in case you drop a screw or anything, you'll thank yourself. Now that we've got my hold of that one, see, yeah, one more right here. You can even leave these in the plastic. Making sure we got it all. That one's still in. This one is loose. And that one is loose. This one. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Put this off to the side. Next thing, grab this clip right here. And we just want to slip it up. Once that's slipped up, Squeeze, leave this over here. Actually, you know what? You can do this with your fingers. Again, you don't have to undo the clamp all the way. Just, I usually like to do it quite a few turns so that way it's nice and loosey-goosey. This I might have to get my other wrench for. For popping this out, pretty easy. Just take this, like that. This part can be a little bit more fun. Grab the black, slide it off. See, comes out easier. Grab this, pull up. Just need to get this free from right here and back here. Just lift on this arm. There we go. Arms free. This is free. Lift 
this up, free this pipe. There you go. Pick up and out on an angle like that. Go ahead, pull all four bolts out again. One which is the tough one. Push both hoses back and then you can unscrew it. Grease, slide in and repeat. I'm not gonna show you how to put the bolts in again. Just go ahead and do so. Checklist, make sure you went and tightened up all the bolts. After you've done so, make sure you sink your clip on just like we did down below. We're ready to start assembling again. Make sure everything's out of your way that you can. Just loop that up there if you want. Now that we know everything's good to go, bring it in on a bit of an angle. Make sure our plastic flap is open. Put it in, suck this back up, perfect. A little bit of finagling. Start this, you want that to pop back in, so perfect. This is back here. Put this in that little rubber lever down here. Just like this, perfect. That's back in there. This sinks back onto here. And then this, we just have to compress down. Make sure we're all lined up on our rubber grommets and if you sink it, it should sink or set. Whatever way you wanna put it, I don't know. Anyways, as we set into our rubber grommets, there we go. Just like that. Okay, that's now set. This is right here. We can re-put this clip on our hook right here. This one after it sinks, just make sure it locks in. It should slide back into that position. Around it, this is locked in, perfect. Next, make sure you put your throttle sensor back on there, your math, sorry. And right there, time for the air filter. Just so it goes in like that. Then get your hand back here and you have to keep pressing until it flexes around those two clips right there. And then you slip it down and those two clips hold it sealed in right down there. So right there, just sink these screws in. Remember, it's just tying into plastic. No need to go He-Man. Just keep it nice and tight, but not over tight. So from here, we're gonna start it up. It might have a little bit of a rough idle only because I just cleaned the throttle body. Sounds good. We'll give it one sec here. Perfect. Started up first time when it didn't have the actuators done. Holy smokes, she wouldn't start at all. And now that the throttle body is clean and I have new actuators in there, sounds great. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out. Like it if you did and subscribe for more.